to achieve carbon neutrality, Japan needs renewable wind energy to cover the energy demand. So my name is Yuka Kikuchi, and I'm from the Department of Civil Engineering. In my childhood, global warming becomes a hot topic. When I was in elementary school, I just feel I would like some job relating with that kind of issue in future. I like doing research because I can always encounter the, some new problem that nobody solved yet. Also, after solving that, I like sharing this result with young students. The main aim of this research is to develop the safe and economic uh, floating offshore wind energy system. Onshore, Japan, the optimum area is very limited because population density is high and also we have very complex terrain. To achieve the target of our carbon neutrality, offshore wind energy is essential. So our sea area has deeper water depths comparing to Europe. Around 80% is more than 50 meter water depth. The floating offshore wind turbine is the very simple concept. We install the wind turbine on the floating structure. It's something like vessel, maybe you can imagine. And why we need this? Because uh, we can install the system in deeper water depths. Key challenges is the first is build a safe system against tropical cyclone or earthquake or this kind of things. Then another thing is cost reduction. So still the technology is initial phase and demonstration phase. So our technology is not optimized yet. So the generally the cost to build that is around double from the fixed bottom offshore wind turbine. We aim to make floating offshore wind energy cheaper by optimizing the structure and developing the advanced control model for wind turbine. This facility was built in 1964. The characteristic is this wideness originally for long span bridge. So it's something like the biggest wind tunnel in Japan. The wind is created downside of this facility, then wind comes from this side. Then uh, in this section, uh, we can test the wind force acting on the structure, such as wind turbine. So recently, we test the wind turbine model in this facility. So by generating wind, we try to find the optimum control algorithm. So by using this turbine model, we can test the effect of turbine force on water motion. But our algorithm is for floating ocean wind energy. So in real case, the ground itself is moving. So to modelize that floater motion in this facility is one big challenge. So this is actuator. The main point is here. So this part can move. So we input some signals of the real floater's motion and generate that motion here. I had two chances to visit real floating ocean wind turbine. One is in Fukushima, Japan, and another is in Scotland. The Fukushima one is uh, the project that I worked on. In laboratory, I always see the smaller size model and also the simulation model. So when first time I saw the floating ocean wind turbine, I really uh, impressed by that largeness and also beautiful, I feel. 